Right now at noon, a man opens fire on his fellow passengers, killing a woman and injuring five more people on a Greyhound bus. Now police are looking for answers. Hello, I'm Leslie Marine in for Sandra Mitchell. That's our top story on KCAL 9 News at noon and streaming on CBS LA. About an hour ago, detectives gave us new information on the shooting that killed one and injured several others on the 5 Freeway and Grapevine Road in Lebec. That's where KCAL 9's Tina Patel is live with late breaking developments. Tina. Leslie, such a tragedy and unfortunately still such a mystery as to why this happened. Two of those wounded remain in critical condition as police and investigators continue to question the suspected gunman. Because imagine trying to like hide for your lives under the seats and everything. And those seats are really compact. Trinity Stone was working the overnight shift at the Jack in the Box when a Greyhound bus pulled into the gas station next door. She saw several people being taken out on stretchers, rushed into waiting ambulances. She also saw two little girls come off the bus. Definitely shocked and traumatized. And the mom, oh my gosh, the mom was. She was just bad, in bad shape. Investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what happened on the bus. They say the driver and 42 passengers were en route from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Just before 1.30 a.m., a man with a handgun started firing. The driver immediately pulled over on the side of the 5 freeway near Fort Tejon. Due to some very heroic acts by the passengers, they were able to overcome this subject and disarm him. They were able to escort him off of the bus without further incident. CHP officers responded and took the suspected gunman into custody while the driver continued on to the next exit. Six passengers had been hit by the gunfire. Five were taken to the hospital to be treated, but a 51-year-old woman from Columbia did not survive. Investigators still don't know whether the gunman was targeting specific people or shooting at random. They're gathering evidence, hoping that will help them determine a motive. I've been on 25 years. I've never seen this happen. Uh, it's unfortunate, and uh, and we're thankful that the bus driver acted uh, quickly and was able to get the bus pulled over and stopped and get the situation neutralized uh, without further incident. Every family member impacted by the incident today. We are gathering details and will assist the Kern County Police in every way possible during their investigation. Back out here live, with still not clear if there were cameras on board that bus. We've reached out to Greyhound to also see more about their security measures, whether there are any screenings before passengers get on board. Unfortunately, we have not gotten that information just yet.